Hey, we're the Crafty Lumberjacks. Happy holidays and welcome back to Handmade. You know, there's nothing more traditional than hanging something on your door during the holiday season to greet your guests. But today we're leaning away from the classic holiday wreath. Yes, and we'll be making an oversized large stocking out of felt that would look great on your front door or anywhere in your home. Let the merrymaking begin! Ho, ho, ho. Thought we were doing that together. No. Begin! So we're starting off with a big red piece of fabric and we're flipping it over just so we can double it up. And I've already traced the image of a stocking right on top. Yes, and Andrew said we're using fabric, but we're actually using a large piece of felt. Thank you for that correction. Yes, felt is definitely easy to work with because it doesn't fray, the edges won't fray. Now I'm just using a good pair of fabric scissors and I'm just gonna cut around the edge. I just wanna make sure that everything is lined up first. But I love this, you're getting two for one here. He has, it's I love it too. It's like a Black Friday sale, you know? And of course for the holidays, whenever you can make your time go easier. <laughs> yes. Like all the better because everybody has so much to do during the holidays. That's so true. Now I'm actually just cutting right alongside the marked piece. Now you could easily use chalk. I used marker just for video purposes so it was easily seen, but chalk would be much easier and then you can dust it right off. Now we're gonna do a stenciling technique. We're gonna keep it really easy and just use fabric paint and a pre-bought stencil. I'm actually gonna cut up this stencil just so there's no uh, mess or bleeding that happens uh, when trying to transfer the stencil to another part of the stocking. So I'm gonna start down here and I have a little tray of fabric white paint and then another tray just to dab everything off. Now when you're working with felt, you do want to add a little more to your brush than you would if you were working on a different fabric just because the felt will soak it up. So it's not so much a dry brush technique when working with felt. So then I'm just gonna hold my stencil down and I'm gonna start from the edge going into the snowflake. You know, in our style, we always like a little nostalgia, vintage uh, vibe for the holidays. So if it's not a perfect stencil, that's okay. Just adds to the wonder, to the detail. Now, of course you could use uh, some tape or you could even pin your stencil down, uh, but Andrew's just going for it. I'm just going for it. I think, Dennis, you think that's that good? That looks great, yeah. Should I peel and reveal? Yes, peel and reveal, baby. This will either be naughty or nice, we will see. So the way we're gonna make our stocking, we're gonna actually fold down a piece of it. So I'm gonna have some snowflakes right over here as well, just another grouping, and I'm gonna do the same thing. So we have some white felt cut here that we're gonna to add to our stocking with a little bit of felt glue and we're just going to glue it on the inside of each piece. And the reason we're not just uh, using the bottle to put it on is because sometimes that leaves marks. You know, and like we said, we're gonna stitch it all together. So this is just kind of to act as a little extra... Reinforcement. Yes, there, there, there's the word. Words are hard, man. <laughs> yeah, especially around the holidays. Yes. I think this is really gonna help give us that true vintage vibe we're going for. And I'm just gonna cut off any excess here, following the line of our other stocking. Now we're gonna put together our stocking with just a little bit of cotton yarn. Yes, we're gonna punch holes around the edge here using a hole punch and then we're gonna stitch it all together. It's so simple. Yes, we should put our cat in here. He would look so that. cute. <laughs> You'd hate it. It's you perfect. Go. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna start punching holes in our stocking here for a stitch. You wanna make sure that your stockings are nice and lined up. Up, oh, Santa's little helper. Come here. The hole punch will punch through um, two layers of felt. So for the top here, I just need to kind of cheat it a little and I'm gonna just do uh, the top and then the bottom and then the rest of it, I'll do it all together. And for the top here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna try to uh, mimic my holes across the way here. 
looks pretty good. Now it's time to stitch it together. Now I'm just going to start stitching. I have a large needle here. Just gonna line up my stocking together and just start uh, putting it all together. There's a knot in the back of my yarn. And now as we're stitching, you wanna make sure you're pulling uh, tightly, but not too tightly that it's gonna rip through the felt. Santa's little helper, he thinks this is a bed for him. So you're just like cascading down as you go, right? Wow, what a, what a word, cascading down. Yes. That's correct. Yeah, I'm just following the punch holes and, and sewing it. And kind of the yarn will do the magic. I love this, it really gives like a really uh, nice candy cane effect. Oh. Right? We found this really adorable fringe trim. So what we're gonna do now is just roll down the inside of our stocking very carefully. We don't wanna pop a stitch or anything. Does that look good or you think a little more? I think just a hair more. I guess Andrew's the Santa and I'm the, the elf because <laughs> I mean, all he did hey, was the good. stenciling. Oh, and I cut it out. Oh, that's true. Cut it out crooked. <laughs> well, you don't see behind the scenes. <laughs> Just kidding. And you don't want to overdo it with the glue. Because we worked hard on this. That's right. Nothing worse than like, you know, an over glue spill on the last step of a oh project. Oh my gosh. That's the worst thing. I am sure of it. And we're actually going to add a little loop. Even though we might not hang it on here, we just think it will be a nice little embellishment to have. And I'm just going to hot glue it in place. Well, I hope Santa brings us something good. It is so cute. So we're gonna stuff our stocking with some brown paper. If you have tissue paper, that's great. We just wanna give it a little bit of dimension. Yeah, this is old packaging uh, paper that we had from some uh, deliveries, but of course you can use tissue paper, fabric, whatever you have at home. We have some faux sprigs here. You could use real sprigs if you want, but we're keeping it pretty minimal. We don't want to overfill it so it, it takes your eye to the wrong place. So just a few sprigs of holly and evergreen, I think really do the trick. This is giving us all the vintage vibes we needed. We're gonna hang it on this door so we can appreciate it all season long. Yes, yeah, so we wanna hear from you in a comment below about your favorite stocking stuffer gift idea. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and we hope you have an incredible holiday season. Bye-bye.